everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about an iPhone 12 that won't charge. I'll be telling you and showing you how to fix it easily. I'll be going over six simple steps that will hopefully help you fix your iPhone 12 that won't charge. Hopefully one of these methods works for you. Let's get right into the video. Step number one is to test the charger with another device. And that is whether you are using a wired or a wireless charger. So let's say you have a wired charger like this, okay? You want to make sure that it's not the charger that's the problem. So plug in your wired charger to another device and make sure that the wired charger works with that other device. Same thing goes with the wireless charger. If you have a wireless charger like this, plug the wireless charger, or I don't plug it in, but place it with another device and make sure that the charger itself works. Then you can rule out that it is the charger itself. Make sure that the charger works by using it to charge another device. That's step one. Step two, if that, if that you know, because if the charger's a problem, then you gotta replace the charger. Very simple, okay? Step two is clean the charging port if you are using a wired connection for charging. So if you are using a wired charger, you wanna clean the charging port. The easiest way to do this and the safest way is just to go ahead and use like uh, those air compressors, uh, those little, you know, dust cans, to just spray quickly a burst of air into the charging port. You can even go with your mouth and just right into the charging port. Um, some people will use something to actually pick out the lint, but do that at your own risk. You gotta be very careful when you do that. I've done it before, but uh, be very careful when you do that, okay? So clean out the charging port, make sure that there's nothing obstructing it. That's step number two. Step number three is if you, you are, if you are using a wireless charger, make sure that there's nothing obstructing the back of the phone. Take off the case that you're using. Make sure it's not the case that's causing the problem. Make sure that there's nothing obstructing the wireless charger. So make sure there's nothing that is preventing it from being charged wirelessly. This charger obviously isn't plugged in right now. Um, but basically make sure there's nothing that is obstructing the wireless charge. So once you've done that, those first three steps, you can ensure that it's not exactly a hardware charger problem or a connection with the charger. Now we're gonna move on to the software of the phone, okay? So step number four is to actually um, turn the phone off and turn it back on again. Now back in the day with the older iPhones, you would press and hold the power button to turn it off, but that's not gonna work with these new iPhones like the iPhone 12. What you wanna do to turn off the phone and restart is go to your settings menu. As you can see right here, we are in the settings menu. Scroll down to general, Click general, okay? And then scroll down, and now there's an there's actually an option to shut down the phone. As you can see right there, it says shut down. So you're gonna click that to shut it down, follow the steps to shut down the phone. I'm just gonna go back over here, okay? Um, and once you shut down your phone and it's fully shut off, then you wanna turn it back on using the power button. See if that fixes the problem. Sometimes it's a simple software issue and you can fix a problem like that, okay? Um, if that doesn't work, we're gonna move on to step number five, which is check the cable of both the wireless and the wired charger. Sometimes as chargers get old, you gotta give them a little wiggle and a jiggle to make it work. So plug it in, give the cable a little movement like that, see if it starts charging, because then you know it's just a loose charger connection. Okay, same thing with uh, with one of these. Now the good thing about a wireless charger is that you can usually use the wireless charger and it works fine, but maybe your cable is a problem. So once again, place the iPhone on the wireless charger, give the cable a little wiggle and a jiggle, see if that helps the problem. And then you can try and uh, fix the problem that way, okay? You can either hold the cable in place or just get a new cable at that point. Um, number six is you're gonna do a force restart. So do a force restart. Um, it's basically the equivalent of like pulling the battery and putting the battery back in. You know, like uh, sometimes you might have to restart your Wi-Fi router or your modem, you gotta unplug it and plug it back in. This is like similar to doing that, but you can't pull the battery on an iPhone. Um, so you have to do a force restart, which is easy. Basically, I'll tell you how to do this. You're gonna quickly push and release the volume up button, then quickly push and release the volume down button, then press and hold the power button for about 10 seconds. When you see your Apple logo appear, then you can release the power button. So once again, you're gonna push and release volume up, push and release volume down, then quickly press and hold the power button for 10 seconds or so. When the Apple logo appears, 
at that point you can release the power button and you will of course restarted your iPhone. Try that out and see if it works. And one of those methods should work. I recommend that you start at the first method and you work your way forward because I went from the most likely cause as the first method to the least likely cause as the last method, okay? That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.